Right, so ladies and gentlemen, of course, that was the two films that was made by Mr. Rinaldo Swastia here. If you still need some background information, he is an Indonesian filmmaker. He graduated from Institut Kesenian Jakarta, Ikeja tadi. Siapa yang? IKJ. IKJ. I cannot speak English. And he's directed a, f- a number of short films, uh, 16, including Akhir and Angin, the one we just watched. And Akhir was actually screened on, in the Europe On Screen Festival in 2008. Whoa. Europe. Yeah. It went all the way to Europe. Yeah. 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 <laughs> he clarified it. <laughs> And he, he's not only been, uh, he's also been involved in directing team for films such as Three Mas Getir. Three Mas Getir. Three Mas Getir, bukan Three Mas Getirs. And he, uh, Musik Untuk Cinta, Jenderal Sudirman, Surya Yang Dan Hijau. And he worked with the likes of Garin Nugroho and Hanung Bramanteo, among wow. others. <laughs> And apparently, now he's currently preparing for Gary Nugroho's silent feature film, Satan Java. Said Satan Java. Satan Java. Satan Java. Satan Java. Satan Java. In addition to his actually actual filmmaking, he also uh, is a ex- assistant lecturer in Institut Kesenian Jakarta as well. I was, I was. He was. Yeah. So there, there you have it. So, Mr. Ronaldo, would you like to have a few words before we start the question and answer session? We've got a few words about the films that you made, just the, the ones we showed just now. Okay, first of all, thank you, Mr. Fikri, to invite me, for inviting me here. Uh, so we speak in, in English. In English. Anything. In English. Welcome, so yes. So... Uh, the first film, Ahir, uh, was my assignment. Uh, not my assignment, my, my friend's assignment. So I have four friends, they want to make a film. They wanted to make a film and then they asked me to direct it. So I did. And then uh, the second film is Angin. Uh, my vinyl project uh, consists of uh, four team members, myself, the producer, the scriptwriter and the sound designer and and got nay of course ini dibaca sih gitu ada ya enggak enggak ada terus apa tadi oh ya itu aja so oh about about angin 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 was nominated for best short film in festival film indonesia 2010 uh, and it was my free ticket to it, it was my free ticket to uh, uh, Singapore in India, not Europe. <laughs> Europe on screen is, a, is actually a Europe fe, uh, film festival in held in Jakarta. I think that's it. Oh, short film, uh, not not short film. Uh, it's feature film, but the short film. Uh, so every so every short every film they got the opener. A short film. Oh yeah, yeah. yeah. So I, 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 Angin opened uh, a, a Swedish film. It's quite good. It's quite good. Yeah, 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 yeah. And that was it. Yeah, so. Thank you. Yes. Okay, so <laughs> those are a few words from Mr. Ronaldo about the film that he made. Um, now we can go on to the question and answer session. So please go ahead. Yeah, I think based Questions. on the comments just now, you guys have quite a number of yeah. things you guys want to ask. Mm-hmm. I'm sure me myself I have a oh, question. Yes, let's go. Let's go. Shell. Apa apa ini? Yaudah 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 apa apa. Saya ngerti kau bahasa Indonesia. Tuh ngerti. Kenapa Buddha? Kenapa kenapa mau ambil apa monk sebagai Oke, okay. first of all, ini Indonesia ya berarti. Uh, pertama-tama, secara historis belum ada film uh, uh, Indonesia fiksi ya, fiksi ya, bukan dokumenter yang mengangkat tema Buddhism. Jadi uh, 
saya mau masukin biku karena strong banget karena biku kan identik sekali dengan Buddhism jadi saya masukin ke situ untuk menunjukkan bahwa ini film fiksi pertama walaupun short di Indonesia yang menunjukkan yang menampilkan uh, Buddhism dan tokohnya gitu mm. paham ya wow. nah. terus yang kedua personal saya personal saya baru saya dulu Katolik lahir Katolik terus saya melepas Katolisism kemudian saya belajar Buddhism tahun 2006 Nah ini 2010 saya buat Itu 4 tahun, dalam 4 tahun ini saya mempelajari banyak hal Dan saya mencoba menerapkannya Dalam film Jadi kenapa? Ya itu Kenapa saya mau mengangkat tentang uh, Biku atau Buddhism Jadi ceritanya sangat personal ya Sebenarnya ya oh, Enggak personal uh, Personal karena ya Buddhismnya sih nah. It's okay right? So were you trying to actually mm-hmm. In a way, raise awareness about Buddhism as well in Indonesia, since it's, uh, yeah, it's yeah, not exactly course. a majority. Uh, yeah, of course. Uh, uh, at least they uh, they they were the people in Indonesia. They actually wanted to uh, see Angin because they don't know Buddhism. Yeah. What is what is Buddhism? The face of Buddhism in Indonesia is very weak. So and it. was also a very interesting point for uh, for Singapore audience and the Indian audience because they they are very curious about the face of Buddhism in Indonesia so 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 they're interested That's fine. Has bragging rights there. <laughs> so officially, in 2010, it was one of the best short films in Indonesia. IMDb. IMDb. 2010. Uh, in, uh, okay, Angin was a screened in Das Film Festival. Das have I seen this film? Das have I seen film festival? It's a Buddhist film festival in Singapore. It's not the Singapore Film Festival. Uh, and then it was screened in Net Park. Net, oh no no no, uh, no no not not uh, not that one. Um, forgot festival. Oh, festival. Uh, I forgot the name of the festival, but it was uh, produced by the same person as Aruna Wasudev, the 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 founder of Net Park. So I was invited to India, and then they screened uh, Angin. Uh, Uh, so I went to India and free ticket. <laughs> uh, one of the ways, one of the ways in which you want to tra- uh, you can travel the world is by making films. Mm-hmm. Uh, yeah. Hopefully, good enough to be invited for film festivals all over the world, so that they will pay for the flight and accommodation, mm-hmm. especially the bigger ones. Yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. See them all for free. Mm-hmm. So, yeah. more questions? Any more questions? Any more questions? Any more questions? Yeah, any question? Me feel. <laughs> yeah, yeah, go ahead. Uh, sure. Uh, uh, Indonesia aja apa? Eh, uh, ini ceritanya sebenarnya ada nggak kayak inspirasi dari cerita si Darta kan juga dia ninggalin istrinya gitu ada nggak kayak emang ada inspirasi dari cerita si Darta atau gimana? Uh, saya lupa. <laughs> Maksudnya saya lupa apa menyangkut itu apa enggak. Tapi waktu saya bikin jadi ceritanya lucu. Jadi hmm. Pak Fili paham. Uh, Uh, apa uh, saya bikin saya sendirian tadinya saya mau sendirian terus kemudian saya ajak beberapa teman kan enggak maksudnya yang tugas akhir ada 45 orang kru ini ada 45 orang kru uh, terus ada apa namanya tadi saya lupa mau oh ini saya sendirian terus kemudian saya ajak beberapa orang lagi karena secara financial uh, 45 juta rupiah untuk satu film ini nggak mungkin nah cukup berat lah buat saya gitu jadi saya ajak tiga teman lain so, uh, itu tadi skenario uh, produser sama uh, soundmannya uh, untuk gabung nah akhirnya pada saya bikin cerita yang berbeda sekali dengan ini 
ceritanya akhirnya saya tuang, tuangkan dalam cerpen yang terbit di Gram Media kalian bisa beli bukunya. Nah, terus uh, apa? Uh, uh, tadi begitu ceritanya ada. Terus kemudian suatu hari penulis kami saya bilang ini dia merasa resah karena menurut dia banyak banyak kebolongan gitu dalam dalam naratifnya. Kemudian dia uh, memberikan ide lagi. Akhirnya, oh ini gimana? Gitu. Wah ini brilian saya bilang. Gitu. Jadi ya saya kerjain ini. Sebelumnya beda banget sama ini. Sebelumnya, sebelumnya tentang seorang biku yang dikasih tugas untuk mengantarkan sebuah dompet ke seorang ke seseorang biku ini ke situ nganterin ternyata buat istrinya buat mantan mantan pacarnya yang pernah dihamilin dulu ceritanya begitu dan dia dulunya preman lah di daerah situ ah, seperti itulah ah itu and it's, it was it was pretty complex ya ah no ah ya maybe it should be played by by uh, Castle. <laughs> so if you see that the, uh, it's, it was uh, the, both films have different styles, you know. The first one is ve- was very uh, uh, hard, uh, um, harsh, yeah, violent, yeah, yeah, yeah. violent, and then uh, angin is very peaceful, you know? smooth, sleepy. <laughs> Not, but in between that peacefulness, mm-hmm. isn't there a sense of both suffering? Yeah, you can you can read. read that. Good, 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 good. good. <laughs> I, I did. I did. <laughs> the the uh, interesting thing about filmmaker that when the spectators see the film and then they uh, read it, uh, not. In the same point of view with uh, the, the maker, so it was a, yeah, yeah, too bagus. Interesting point. I never thought of it. Don't clap for me. Don't clap for me. Don't clap for me. The filmmaker. I find that an interesting point uh, mm-hmm. because you, you you say that that's actually not your main intention, uh-huh. mm-hmm. but both films essentially are about the idea of suffering. Mm-hmm. Again, it's about suffering in silence almost, yeah. mm-hmm. but Akir is very loud in terms mm-hmm. of how you externalize yeah. that kind of suffering. Is, is there something more deliberate? I mean, with Angin, is, is, you say it's not uh, mm-hmm. intentional per se, mm-hmm. but is there something more deliberate with Akir that you want to explore with suffering? Yeah, uh, first of all, because the assignment wasn't mine, Uh, the story, uh, thus the story, uh, was my friend's uh, idea. So um, I actually only directed it. I didn't write it. So uh, it was made in 2007, and it was bl- very uh, um, uh, what do you say? Black uh, blackan. Apa ya? Um, straight, yeah, it's, uh, it's very violent, and then uh, so I I asked my friends to to do a violent film. It was a uh, about poor people who ask who who, who try to survive, but uh, in trying to survive, they have to compete with other people, so other poor people, and then the end in the end. They all die because the violence. Violence kills. Okay, you know? this is like Game of Thrones ish. <laughs> <laughs> Game of Thrones. Wow. <laughs> yeah, I think then, you like Game of Thrones too much. <laughs> yeah. So yeah, maybe Akhir, I, Akhir uh, shows a uh, physical violence, but Angin shows psychological violence. Mm. You can read it like mm. that. Mm. <laughs> Thank you for pointing that out. <laughs> yeah. So, any more questions? You don't. You don't have to ask about the films. You have. Yeah, you, you, can you can ask, ask about, about the film industry in Indonesia. I mean, he's been experienced in the film industry. He's made 16 short films, directed 16 short films. How, how can he not have lots of experience? <laughs> And he's also involved in you know, these other films. Um, As a part of that, like right now you're working on something with Gary Nugroho. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, I'm currently working uh, with. I'm assisting uh, Gary Nugroho. Do you know Gary Nugroho? Yes. Okay. <laughs> At least one person. <laughs> 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 
ada pertanyaan kemarin ya. film Chopra Minoso kan miring bro ya? ya itu masih ikut juga gak? enggak saya gak ikut saya ikutnya yang terakhir sebelum ini ah aku jatuh cinta nanti November tayang ah aku jatuh cinta pemainnya Pevita Pierce sama Chico Jericho <laughs> and then the film will be kita rasanya kerja sama Pevita mas gitu-gitu aja ah, saya udah kerja sama Chelsea udah pernah ngegenuin Chelsea Islam miring Oke, one thing about aku jatuh cinta. It was actually uh, scheduled for premiere um, for premiere in October. The second of October, I think. Oh, October 2nd and then uh, it was postponed to November because the the film was accepted to Busan Film Festival. Mm-hmm. Busan Film Festival is a uh, South Korean and it mm-hmm. is uh, the 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 top, right? The, biggest, the best, yeah, the, the biggest. biggest in Asia. The biggest uh, film festival in Asia. Mm, wow. So uh, and Mas Garin asked me to to come to Korea of course uh, uh, as well so it's a pleasure. Know, Free ticket. <laughs> <laughs> okay, uh, I'm going. I'm going to explain about about being an assistant director, about filmmaker in in Indonesia. Uh, people usually thinks uh, they usually think that uh, film industry in Indonesia is not financially good, yeah. right? Well, actually, it's the opposite. Uh, if you uh, What's the standard salary for a month uh, for a worker in in, in any office? Say se- seven. Seven. Two point seven is a minimum standard, right? <laughs> Not more than ten million, right? Not more than ten million. I ha- I got uh, as assistant director only. I got fifteen millions a month. Mm-hmm. And plus plus. Mm. Plus, plus plus yes. Yeah, the film yeah. making the, the film, the expenses are also usually taken into consideration. So things like transport, if you shoot outside of the city, accommodations mm-hmm. and uh, food, right? You saw food that is now right. I mean it's a part of the consideration as well for quite a lot of film productions. So you're making that amount. But in terms of your day-to-day expenses and costs, you're actually saving quite a fair amount. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, and some productions also cover uh, the fresh air that some people want to get. Oh, they do fresh air. Yeah. Only people So, so, I, so, now you know that that actually being a filmmaker in Indonesia is not as bad as we think, right? At, at least. As our parents think, <laughs> so uh, you have to do your best because uh, I'm a freelancer. So I have to do my best to make the studios to call me mm. to to ask for my uh, 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 employment mm. to employ me. I mean, so uh, in order to have uh, plenty of kalau kita sebut callingan is that we have to do our best and then we have to be a good man and we have to uh, have the uh, qualification that they uh, want us to have and then we can we can do good in in, in film industry in Indonesia so I think if you want to be a filmmaker just call me yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I can at least I can I can find you uh, right. um, a internship. That, that sounds like a very nice benefit. Mm-hmm. I think a lot of people will be quite attracted by that. Mm-hmm. But I'm sure you had some like very difficult and challenging moments as well. Oh yeah. Can you, can you share with us maybe like one or two of your most challenging moments um, in your film career? In my film career? Yeah. Well, in, on, on on the films that you've been involved in, 
uh, any, any like problems that you came across that you really had to deal with? Okay. The uh, well, actually, I I didn't I didn't have uh, uh, a major problem in my in my line of work. Uh, the biggest problem is actually if I work with uh, pe- um, uh, very hard people to be work to work with, uh, such as a director that is very a dictator, or or um, a producer that cannot produce uh, that cannot uh, manage a team. Uh, so I have to adjust myself mm. with one studio and the other. So I have to uh, adapt with uh, with the system because we have different systems. Uh, the studios or PH in Indonesia, they have different systems, and then I have to adapt. Maybe that's the most challenging thing that that I come across uh, until now. But as long as I can adapt and as long as I work my best, I don't see any problem. Because I'm an assistant director, I'm not a director, uh, a feature film director, um, yeah. not yet act- actually, yeah. So there are no uh, major uh, concern or, or problems, I think. Mm. But you have to make films yourself. Mm-hmm. I mean, oh, short you, you film. made short films, yeah. you made quite a number of them. Okay. So essentially, on, on some level, you're, you're a creator. Mm-hmm. Um, but when you work on a feature films, mm-hmm. You have to create somebody else's vision. Yeah. So how how do you reconcile between like your own ideas and, and somebody else's ideas? Yeah. Okay. Uh, that's a good question. I think uh, because um, being an assistant director is not as, as, uh, actually uh, a path to be a director. Okay. It is actually a different um, path from being a director. Assistant director is actually a, a production team. So. Uh, oh. He is a bridge between production team and the uh, producer and the uh, or, or production team and the director. So I have to. So my 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 job is to make schedule to uh, make sure that uh, we have all the talents, the casts, the the locations, and then we uh, design all the design. We we did we do it good. We did it well. And then. That's it. I don't make a, a work of art, just like a director. So when I when I was uh, directing Angin, uh, it was very uh, beautiful experience for me because I have to I have uh, I have to I had to read many books and then I had to. Uh, uh, consult with many people, including uh, including Bikus and 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 other filmmakers, uh, uh, professors, my professors. Uh, and when uh, reading a script, I there are visual of images. Uh, 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 there are plenty of visuals that uh, popped up uh, 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 in my mind, and then I write it. I wrote it, and then I share it. To my uh, team, and it was a uh, very creative uh, work, and it's uh, it was a very fun thing to do. But and as an assist- assistant director, I don't have any uh, satisfaction creatively. You know, I have I only make a just like office worker. Actually, I make the schedule. I I. Uh, Translate, I think, translate uh, the the idea of director, and then uh, adjust it with the production team. So, make, uh, contohnya, ini biar cepat aja ya, saya ngomong Contohnya, uh, saudara bilang, uh, aku mau ada heli shot, heli cam, so, tapi budgetnya nggak ada. So, apa yang harus dilakukan? Misalnya, oke, okay, berarti kita ambil uh, shootingnya gini aja, kita ambil dari uh, rooftop, kemudian kita ambil pakai track, gerak. Nah itu ide-ide seperti itu kita bisa kasih masukan. Terus kemudian juga misalnya uh, yang paling merepotkan sebenarnya being an assistant director is uh, harus menyesuaikan misalnya gini lokasi cuma bisa hari Selasa, sedangkan pemain bisanya hari Rabu. Selasa nggak bisa. Wah itu kan stres tuh. Nah itu stresnya Astrada di situ. Kalau director stresnya lebih ke kreatif dan bagaimana caranya mewujudkan visualnya. dibantu oleh Astrada yang stres pasti Astrada nya karena dia harus jadi uh, pada saat 
uh, when I make a schedule, I actually have like post-its, and then I have the calendar, and then I uh, stick it. Oh, hari ini di Monash, besok di IKJ shootingnya. Nah, pemain-pemain di Monash itu ada siapa aja? Ada Pak Fikri, ada Yusuf, ada ada Gosi misalnya, ada siapa? Nah, tapi misalnya di IKJ ada siapa? Ada Aldo, ada A, B, C, D. Tapi nggak bisa, Aldo nggak bisa di hari Selasa, bisanya di hari Monash. Gosi nggak bisa di hari Senin, nggak bisa di hari Selasa. Nah, itu kemudian negosiasi lagi dengan pemainnya. Nego schedule lagi gitu. Tugasnya seperti itu kalau aspirasi saudara. Secara kreatif dia tidak apa? Tidak nggak banyak influence. In, ya nggak banyak influence. Begitu. Kemana asisten saudara kadang-kadang lebih dari satu kan? Ya ya ya. Actually we uh, the standard is two mm. assistant directors. But currently I'm working alone. As an assistant director to Karim Nugroho. Actually, I think I think the um, uh, reading your biography, mm-hmm. you can commonly say as a first assistant director. Yeah, first assistant director. That, but that's that's first and second one. What's the difference for for those who might not know? Okay. Uh, the first assistant director is actually in the shooting uh, period is the general of the set. So uh, I design my I design the so let's say we have a script and then uh, scene one I have to break it down like what's the cast who's the cast uh, uh, where's the location where's the set and what properties do I have to to uh, uh, prep prepare and then I have to design the schedule and then in the set I will run my schedule helped by the second assistant director who actually uh, who um, Uh, are uh, helping me to direct extras, so extras or details of uh, costumes or uh, makeups. So, uh, first assistant director designs all the schedule for the shooting and makes sure that everything goes well to the plan. And the second assistant director helps the first assistant director to manage the the schedule. <laughs> So that's so. Uh, so yeah, yeah. So second, so second assistant director is, is actually the the assistant of the assistant director. <laughs> yeah. So actually, the director have an ha, a director has an assistant, and then the assistant has another assistant for him. But the second assistant director uh, assist uh, first assistant director, and then um, follows the command uh, of the director. Uh, so you know the, the three of us work together, mm. and then uh, the first give gives command to the second, and then the second will uh, help first help the first assistant director to to uh, uh, run the design. Mm. So that's the difference. So, so the second assistant director is actually uh, directing extras, uh, preparing this costume for the for the cast. What What's what? What's the next scene? Then he will bring the the cast to the wardrobe, and then uh, he he will tell the team, the wardrobe wardrobe team, that the next scene is scene 35. What's the 35? It's it it is continue. It's a continu- continuity of scene 34. 34 we shoot a week ago. And then they have to open the open the file. You know, the so they have to rewatch unity. Rewatch the scene again. Yeah, no, no, not rewatch. We they use a photo. Oh. This photo with a like so scene tiga empat. Oh, okay. okay. Yeah. And then when we shoot the scene tiga puluh lima, next scene or next two next two weeks, mm. uh, they just oh, yang ini 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 okay. So. In sort of like summary, so not all the scene is actually shoot sequentially, right? Oh no, of course not. That's where editor comes in. Yeah. Uh, uh, dulu, uh, or in my first year, first year of of studying KJ, uh, they asked me to make a film with a camera editing. Camera editing is. The first shot until the last shot should uh, will be shot uh, sequentially. Sequentially, yeah. then uh, we see that it was 
it's 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 so difficult because the first scene here, second scene is in uh, Bogor, the third scene maybe in Hai. You don't you don't you cannot you cannot shoot here and then go to Bogor and then to Hai. I can shoot here and then to Hai, and the next day we go to, we go to Bogor. So that's where uh, editor comes in. Yeah. Yeah. Short film. Short. Oh, shootingnya. Kalau shootingnya tiga hari. Jadi shoot ini angin kan? Angin apa? No, like the movies. Oh, oh, okay. Uh, for for the shoot. Okay, all the whole, whole process. Um, for the preparation, we do like we have two months of preparation. And another two for developing the story and the script, because it it was an assignment, so I have to go to the uh, professor so to consult. Like that. Yeah. So two months, two months, and three three days shooting. Yeah. Based on your experience, what are the things that you think you need when What oh what are the things that Indonesian mm-hmm. movie should improve on the story because mm. because uh, people who watch uh, film or movie I call it film mm. people who watch film in uh, in the cinema uh, they tend to be uh, abegs pacaran yang pacaran or uh, ibu rumah tangga Mm-hmm. Yeah, ah. it's uh, jarang sekali yang eksekutif itu jarang sekali. So, be- why? Why? Because uh, ya sibuk mungkin mencari duit. But uh, <laughs> yeah. but the, the spectator of sinetron and film is almost the same. So ibu-ibu rumah tangga who who iron his her uh, her clothes. Can watch Sinatron by not watching it, but just hearing the dialogues, right? Mm. Yeah. yeah, and then they love it. <laughs> they love it. So, how to make the film uh, work in in the in in the market? So we yeah, very mirip Sinatron. Yeah, yeah. So we if we are market oriented, and then uh, uh, we can make films which uh, uh, the people like. The spectators like the majority of spectators like. Mm-hmm. So uh, that's so the story will uh, will not be better uh, if we only make what people like. Yeah. Right. But the dilemma is if we make a good film, not they will not work in pasar. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah? yeah. Not balik modal lah, nggak balik modal lah. <laughs> so. So it was, yeah. Uh, some 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 films have a good uh, uh, have a good artistic uh, value and actually work in pasar like Laskar Pelangi, you know. Right? Mm-hmm. And then um, okay, let's talk about Laskar Pelangi. Laskar Pelangi is good because uh, the the craft. Thing of the film is good because the director is also good, Mas Riri. Uh, but what makes the what make the what makes the film laku di pasar? It is because of the one point is because of the novel of the Andera Hirata, and the second is the cast. Very uh, uh, good actors and actresses play in the film. <coughs> yeah. Very, very big point, and then it it's exotic because people don't know Blitung. Yeah, didn't know Blitung before Askar Pelangi. So, and it it was a, a child movie, a, a, you know, like kid kid movie. So, so people yeah, yeah, yeah. people love it. Yeah. That's. Jadi kalau mau improve, uh, I don't think there's a I don't think there's a problem in Indonesian film industry. I think uh, the problem is uh, how the government support us. Yeah. They don't support us. They don't have association to to for us to to depend on. 
But that's if we like, thing. sorry, but if we like going to like all of these film festival yang mempromote Indonesia, mm-hmm. shouldn't they be like involved somehow? Yeah, right? yeah, yeah, they should. They should. They should. They should. Yeah, but they should. <laughs> I don't know. But Jokowi, oops. But the pre- but the current president. Correct. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> recording. recording. Yeah, recording. <laughs> no, no, no. But Jokowi is what uh, is a. Uh, uh, The, he has a good vision for for Indonesian cinema right now. So we'll wait for the next year, next few years. Yeah, dia juga datang ke premier general Sudirman. Kalian nonton general Sudirman nanti? Nonton dong. Spot spot me in one scene lah. Saya juga main di sana. Saya. dibanding kualitas mereka actingnya itu sebenarnya bagus atau enggak untuk kenapa kayak gitu maksudnya kenapa enggak terlalu fokus kenapa enggak fokus mencari artis baru yang bisa. emang bagus ya. actingnya dibanding sama dia <laughs> ya cuma cantik tapi sebenarnya enggak bisa acting itu kenapa karena fans mereka banyak sesimpel itu ya yeah. Ya kan gini. Misalnya kamu enggak suka kamu enggak suka Pevita misalnya. Kamu enggak mau nonton lah Pevita, ah malas jelek. Tapi kamu cuma satu di dari 1000 misalnya. Jadi jumlah orang yang enggak suka Pevita 1000, jumlah mereka jumlah orang yang suka 1 juta berarti kan? Nah, 1 juta itu yang dipakai untuk membuat untuk untuk membuat filmnya laku. Tapi kenapa enggak berani gitu? Maksudnya bukan itu maksudnya. Ah, kan saya film Amrik banyak kayak tiba-tiba oh artis baru jadi hmm. ngetren sekarang juga dia actingnya bagus jadi kayak diciptain lagi kan fans baru itu kenapa enggak kayak gitu kayak oh. dorong apa itu kenapa enggak berani cari diri untuk melakukan seperti itu ada sebenarnya cuma nggak kamu nggak nonton yeah. Yeah. Nah, itulah kenapa because people because people want to watch the star kamu taunya yang Pevita ah nggak suka tapi kamu tahu at least tapi kalau ada satu film yang kamu nggak tahu castnya kamu pasti gitu nah, lebih gitu malah kan gitu nah makanya sebenarnya ada contohnya Mas Garin AJC or uh, General Sudirman maybe jadi uh, banyak yang berani untuk angkat Uh, pemain baru banyak juga yang nggak cuma orang nggak cuma nggak uh, cuma uh, maksudnya film-film Indonesia itu tidak selalu maksudnya tidak selalu memakai pemain yang uh, terkenal dia tidak selalu m- mau mencoba untuk laku laku dari pemainnya tapi juga masih berharap pada ceritanya gitu. so nggak uh, semua kalau misalnya kita lihat nggak nggak semua apa namanya uh, studi- uh, PH yang yang uh, gong pakai ini karena dia laku ada beberapa pihak tertentu akan bilang yang main ini harus kenapa kan dia lagi, lagi naik harus yang main ini karena lagi kontroversial lagi banyak lagi ramai itu ada tapi ada juga yang nggak nggak peduli sama itu ada juga cuma emang kurang terlihat lah karena ya ya karena pemainnya mungkin nggak gitu karena film in the United States yeah. and in Indonesia. Yeah, yeah, yeah. If you make a film in Indonesia, the market is only Indonesia and sometimes get Nasca Pelangi. Very well received uh, in Malaysia, even until today. Mm-hmm. Yeah, some of my students still, up until a few years ago, they still like to analyze that film like, for my class one. So it's very popular. But beyond Indonesia, Malaysia, I don't know, Singapore maybe, Brunei a bit, um, It doesn't really travel commercially. In film festivals, it's a different story. But with Hollywood films, it's distributed pretty much all over the world. Wherever there's a cinema in the world, there's, there's a good chance that there's a Hollywood film uh, will be there. So it's not to say that all the films get there, but the, the risk for them is a bit lower in that sense. Because they can fail in one market, but they might make enough to make it worthwhile. So in this case, the risk 
uh, management has to be considered in that way as well. I assume they also have like a certain amount of financial background yang udah. Oh yeah, of course, yes. Much bigger yeah. than compared to Very India. stable. They, they, uh, the, the Hollywood was established in 1930 or something, right? So it's it was uh, so it's 80 80 years or so, and in Indonesia we only start start it's like the beginning of the re- of Indonesia. Yeah, yeah, the rebirth of the Indonesian yeah. film. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Kalau kini kita kemarin boleh lah atau enggak ada cerai. Tapi sebenarnya kan sesudah ini sendiri kan dia kan seorang apa? Uh, well, Anak dan Wells Nah jadi sebenarnya di tim produk sini sendiri Banyak gak sih orang lokal gitu yang kerja oh. di situ Atau hanya major- aktor-aktornya aja The majority of the crew is Indonesia uh, Only like cinematographers uh, The cinematogra- the, the DP or we say Director of photography, the cameraman uh, Gareth himself And only a few lah the visual effect I think and the special effect team yeah. it's, it's an Indonesian film in that regard I mean, you can justifiably be proud of it as an Indonesian film <laughs> and even in Garrett's case it's not like he came in from nowhere and then just suddenly directed this film yeah. he's been here for a while yeah. he speaks the language and he understands the film yeah. he understands the culture yeah. before, so before Marantau Garrett uh, he was here since 1990 some of us maybe because uh, because you know because we, uh, some of us, I, I don't, I don't mean me, but some, some of uh, people, some people in Indonesia thought that uh, the the Gareth Evans is not Indonesian or the Raid is not an Indonesian film, but I think you cannot say that. Yeah. It's an Indonesian well, yeah. film. Yeah, it's an Indonesian film. I mean, the film had unborn, unborn people in it, so. No other films in the world or other country will have unborn people. <laughs> <laughs> it's Indonesian, man. Come on. <laughs> right. Right. Yeah. Okay. Uh, maybe it's time for one last question. Yeah. From anyone? Maybe one last question because it's getting close to <laughs> time that we should. Yeah. Uh, it's <laughs> so, anyone? Maybe something to do with your studies, film studies, or maybe media and culture in my class. Oh, I do have one. Um, can You're not you in my class. Any... Sorry. No, not well. I mean, well, I'm kidding. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. It's a win-win solution. Oh, anyway, win-win solution. Win-win solution. All right. Uh, what would you? What, what you like for tips for for any of you who wants to be like interested in making a filmmaker? Maybe like. Start a small project first. What do you like? Any suggestion or tips for those who are interested in making film? Of course, yes. I, I, I always say that to uh, people, to to uh, students. I always say that uh, if you want to make a movie or film, just shoot it. Shoot it with your phone. Yeah. <laughs> it's, it's for practice, right? You you write a story and then you ask people, you ask your friends, how 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 is my story? Is it good enough? Uh, limited, limited. Or maybe you can ask or develop the script for one week and then you shoot it with your friends. One film, two films, three films, and then you can upload it to YouTube and then you can. Uh, uh, Garner some critics or something, and uh, it's the first step for making a film. And after that, uh, you can uh, uh, read, or you can ask Mas Fikri. Mas Fikri. Mas Fikri. Ask Mas Fikri. Sir. Call me Lina. Mr. Fikri. Boyu, boyu, not I think that the one thing you have to bear in mind is that the first film you make will always be uh, not very good. <laughs> 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 You're thinking, I mean, Eva mentioned 
to think about, oh, it's not going to come up very well. Uh, oh. The first film you make, uh, I don't know, yeah. prove, prove me wrong. Yeah, 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 yeah. If you go back and watch the first yeah. film now. Yeah, of course. <laughs> yeah. Yes. 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 The thing is, it's a journey, right? It's, mm. it's a part of the process and everybody has got to start. Even even for people like Darin and Hanung, ask them about their very first film, not the first feature film, but the first short films that they made mm-hmm. or not. They will, their face will change and they will cringe. Yeah. They will not want to talk about it. It's a part of the experience. Yeah. Okay? Just like a baby, you have to learn to sit, you have to learn to uh, walk, you have to learn to uh, first crawl and then walk and then run. So don't worry, just just shoot it. And uh, oh, one more thing, because uh, saying about uh, you say about uh, you said about the the first film, mm-hmm. uh, you you meant about the first short film or first very first film, right? The very first film. Yeah, okay. As an assistant director, I uh, pe- uh, there are some companies that uh, ask me to do uh, my first film as a director, but. I reject the I, I rejected them because the first feature film feature film the first feature film is very 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 important because it's gonna stamp it has a very uh, big stamp on your forehead <laughs> yeah yeah correct me if I'm wrong yeah you're right you agree? absolutely right yeah the thing is um, the first film you make that's what people will associate you with. Yeah, it's a signature. Yeah, so it's got to be the kind of story that you tell that reflects something of yourself. It's got to be something that you're proud of in that in that case. And if it's financially not successful, that's probably a different story. But in terms of the actual story, it's got to be, as you say, uh, something that reflects what, what you are like mm-hmm. as a person because that is your signature, that yeah. is your brand. And when people actually want to hire you for future productions, uh, that will be done based on that first film. Mm. So, for someone like, even for uh, Fantastic Four, I think we yeah. talked about mm-hmm. it very briefly. Okay? Mm-hmm. Uh, the director got that job because the first film we made uh, prior to that, uh, the, the, the film made prior to Fantastic Four was Chronicle. Yeah. And, and Russia was very happy about the fact that Dane Dehan was in that film. Right? Mm-hmm. So, that was a very well received film. Okay, And it's because of that film he got to Fantastic Four. Not he started from zero and got straight to Fantastic Four. Mm-hmm. Okay, little things like that. that I think um, that's a bit of what uh, yeah. we know that was trying yeah. to about. That's why I rejected them because I don't like the stories. Because my first film as a director, I have to make a, a film that I like, a film that uh, I envision from, and the film uh, I give birth. <laughs> it's true. Uh, if you ask for other filmmakers, they'll say that it's kind of like that. You know, you, you nurture the story and you work hard to find the money to try to make it, and you will never be completely happy with that. I, I, I watched Onion. I don't know about you guys. What do you guys think of Onion? Very good, right? Very interesting. The ending was it was a very nice, though, right? I watched it. I thought it's great. But if you ask me now, the right now, I'm sure there's some stuff about it that he's not entirely sure. <laughs> yeah. You're never going yeah. yeah. to be happy either. It's just going to get to the point where you have to stop and let it go, much like a child. Move on. <laughs> 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 All right. Um, all right. I think so, that's about it. Yeah. That yeah. bombshell. I think that's all about it for today's session. I'm sure there are many other questions that they, they want to be asked, and I'm sure we can ask it during lunch. Mm-hmm. But for now, so that's it. That's Mr. Ronaldo with his. Family.